Nothing attests to Bowie's artistic potency during the 1971-73 period more than the fact that he could afford letting awesome records like Velvet Goldmine go unreleased. Recorded at the end of 1971, in the beginning of the Ziggy Sessions, it was slated at first to be part of the album, but eventually dropped for being too risqué. It was released only in 1975, apparently without Bowie's knowledge or permission. However, it is definitely a Ziggy track. You got crazy legs, you got amazing hair, you got wings on your fingers and your hair's hot red, you got a place on my tongue, name on the sun, I cut your bones on my breast, cause you're the young world. You the pleasure. Who is Bowie singing to here? It appears to be a glamorous, sexy woman, whom he is about to have some hot sex with. However, the fact that she has red hair, and wit from Bowie's tongue, suggests another possibility. Bowie is singing to Ziggy, to the creature that he just extracted from his own subconscious, and is about to portray. A gotcha going to my breast can be a line about lovemaking, but can also suggest that Ziggy is suckling on Bowie's knowledge and talent. Now they are already getting it on, and it actually sounds like gay sex, where he's giving the other guy a blowjob. But, again, it can be understood both ways, as a hot intercourse which makes him lose himself with the pleasure and merge with his partner, or as merging with Ziggy and losing himself in the character, which makes him act real gone. Velvet gold mine, you struck me like the rain, snake it, take it. This is pure sex, and the imagery doesn't really need explaining. But the chorus suggests another possibility. Velvet Goldmine can be euphemism for a vagina but it can also be a reference to the treasures you find in the Velvet Underground's music. Going back to the verses we already analyzed, we see that it works as well. It's the music of the Velvets that goes to his breast, that makes him act real gone, that is both school and pleasure, and that makes him feel that he isn't fighting alone. The character of Ziggy Stardust, and the songs he sang, would not have come to life if it wasn't for the influence of the Velvet Underground. More of the same. So, what is the record about? Who is that putting the mink on at the end? Is it a woman getting dressed after the shagfest? Is it Ziggy putting the last touches on his look that will dazzle the world? Or is it one of the stylish and bizarre characters out of the gold mine that is the Velvet Underground's music? The best answer, of course, would be a combination of all three. Ziggy was a sexual fiend, who got a lot from interacting with other glamorous people, and scavenging the music of other bands. In Bowie's world, these actions are all interconnected. Is Bowie telling us that he intends to kill Ziggy before this is over? Never mind. As the record turns into some sort of slabic as a chalk, we can't help but hum along. Forget about the meaning. Get down with Ziggy. Snake it, take it, the princess, you must stay. 